time. Okay, I'm back. And it's Makeup Free Mondays. Ta da! This is me and my natural beauty. Yes, good day! Fabulous. Okay, and this is my little book of recipes that I have been working on, tried and true. And these are recipes I'm going to do for you. What a rhyme. Nice. Okay, so today we're gonna make buffalo chicken chickpeas. It's a really, really simple recipe. It moves pretty fast, so this video is not going to be long. And this is a hit. It is a hit, 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 hit. I carried this to a, um, what you call it? Potluck and everybody loved it. So, okay, first thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get my pot out. So my stand broke, so you're actually gonna be moving around with me a lot. Oh, today I'm making it with, um, I did chicken and bulgars on the stove. We're gonna make the chickpeas over here. It's a good spot. It sure is, hi. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's get our ingredients out. And it is one can of chickpeas, one cup tahini, Frank's red hot sauce, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, paprika. 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 So I have the Frank's red hot out. Here's the soy sauce. Here is the. Okay, let me get these stuff and then I'll come back. Okay guys, here I am, I'm back again. So as I was telling you that this recipe moves really, really fast. So I have my pan here. This is a non-stick pan. Thank you, Saucy. And I am going to put a quarter cup of tahini into my pan. Now I know this is a half cup measure, but I cannot find my quarter cup measure. So half of a half cup is a quarter cup. So I'm just gonna go with that. There we go. All right. Cut this up a little bit more than a half cup. Okay. All right. Yeah, that looks like quarter cup now. Okay. So that goes in here. The tahini. Um. So quarter cup tahini. And. Two tablespoons Frank's Red Hot. So this is our Frank's Red Hot. In this house, we really like it. So we bought a big jar of it. Two tablespoons. One, two. Okay. Um, then one tablespoon soy sauce. I have always said I like to cook with this soy sauce mainly because Scott's friend dated the girl on the bottle. So I like to support the cause. You know who you are. Um, apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of that. Here we go. I'm gonna actually turn my, my pot on to low heat. One tablespoon apple cider vinegar. Shake it up to get the mother all up in there. All right. Maple syrup, one and a half teaspoons. So what is a teaspoon? This is a teaspoon. One and a half teaspoons maple syrup. One half, a teaspoon of paprika. Okay, so I just added in my quarter teaspoon of paprika. So this is fine. And it's warming up. So you just warm up all of these ingredients here in your pan. Okay. Stir it around. I have this on a low heat. And then actually it's on level one. There's nine, ten levels on my stove. Yes, baby? You want to come and help me cook? Okay. You can come if you want. So while those ingredients are warming through, I'm going to tidy up here a little bit. And I'm actually going to open my can of chickpeas and just rinse them off. Sorry. This is when you know it's authentic cooking, right? Okay? 
I mean, I washed the lid of my chickpeas already, so you know. Rat doodle on the lid. So you have to wash your hands. So you wash off the rat doodle, because if you don't, when you open it, the can might slip inside, like what has happened here. And then you can get leptospirosis, guys. So just wash your cans, okay? You know, you can save the chickpea water, also called aquafaba, and you can make some delicious recipes with that. I don't save mine. Just dump the chickpeas in there. Good. And then now, you're gonna just fold this in. So you're just gonna fold this in, the chickpeas into your sauce. Okay. And you're gonna let it sit on the stove. Um, you're not cooking it, you're really just warming everything through, okay? So you just want the chickpeas to get warm, you want the sauce to get every, every all over everyone, and you want everything to look saucy and nice, okay? And so I usually leave it on for like, mm, it's on low heat, see? And I leave it on for like maybe mm, five, 10 minutes. Okay guys, so sorry, just so much happened a while ago. It became Stevie's dinner time and um, that's a whole story. Anyway, so this is the finished product, the chickpeas. Usually I serve it with a yogurt dressing, which is yogurt, dill, lime and garlic. Didn't have time. To... There's a fly, there's a fly. Didn't have time to make it today, so sorry. I'm sure you can understand why. Yes. Yes. Stevie likes this, but I give it to her husband. Yes, baby. Okay, I'm coming. So this is a buffalo chickpeas. It's actually one of Scott's favorite. No, leave it. I'll come for her. Baby. And this is Jin Jin. Wait, where are you going? You're not gonna have dinner. I just placed it for you. So you don't want the dinner? I know that you want it. I don't know, no, no, no. All right, then, guys. Well, I'm gone. This is it. Sure. It What's is there? Stevie approved. She actually likes the chickpeas a lot. I know. And um, that is my buffalo chickpea recipe. Okay. Yeah, guys. Sorry. This is why it's taking me so long to get back to doing videos. It's um, it's crazy around here. Anyway, so usually I serve the buffalo chicken chickpeas with cucumber rounds. I cut cucumbers into rounds and then I serve it with this yogurt, lime, and garlic dressing and I cut up some dill in there. And I usually leave the dressing in the fridge. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, for like an hour or two just so that the flavors can really get together and marinate together. Sorry, I didn't have time to present it properly or do the yogurt dressing. Um, but I do like to serve this with something cooler to kind of cool the palate because the chickpeas are a little spicy. So today I served it with just a cabbage salad and it's a, it's a hit around here. Everybody loves it. Okay, bye guys. I hope you try and enjoy.